Welcome back to our YouTube channel today. I am kind of celebrating that maybe, just maybe, we do have a Halloween in 2020. Um, last week, our Dutch government announced to the Dutch public that we are doing pretty well with dealing with the corona crisis we have less and less new infected people every day so all the measurements we have taken are taken effect and we are very happy to hear that and because everything is going so well there are a few rules that are changing so for instance our kids can go back to school from the first of june Probably if everything keeps going well, obviously we can have small gatherings from 30 people. If it keeps getting well after that, we can have gatherings with 100 people in July. And maybe, just maybe, we do just have a Halloween this year. Probably not as we are used to, um, but any kind of Halloween, even if it is a drive through haunted house, or if it is, well, any other kind of crazy inventive thing to celebrate Halloween, I'm all up for it. So that is why I decided to make this skull makeup today. So this one, has been created with Pro Air Hybrid makeup and the airbrush. I also put a few powders on there for the final shadowing. But if you want to know how I created this one, please keep watching because I will show you step by step in the coming video. As I enjoyed playing with the airbrush last week very much, I decided on doing it again today. And as it seems like maybe we have a Halloween in 2020, I decided on creating a skull makeup today. So there are more skull makeups here on our YouTube channel, but today I'm just going to airbrush it freehand with my Pro Air Hybrid makeup. So it is different from all the other skulls I have already done here. Um, I'm first going to start out with white and just sketch out where the bones will be in the final makeup. There is a basic white skull on my skin, so you can choose to just make a skull with black and white, but I like to use a few more colors to give it a bit more than only that black and white. And that is why I have Pale Dead also by Pro Air, and I will start shadowing with this color. So this is kind of a skin tone and it does need to get darker and darker. So I have a few more colors until we have our skull, but, um, well, that's just the way I like to work when creating skulls. I have black in my gun and with that we are going to try to make these shadows. So, and then I discovered that I am in fact making a black and white skull. So I'm back to the white because I do need a bit more white in this makeup. To put a bit more contrast in this makeup, I have the color Corpse which of course is wonderful for a skull makeup. Now the base is on my skin with the airbrush. I'm going to continue with a brush and the Pro Air Hybrid in a 
cup and that basically is because the lines all aren't as clean as I want them to be and that is because when you airbrush yourself you just have one hand which isn't always as steady as you want it to be because when you airbrush someone else you always use two hands and you have kind of support which makes it easier to make Switching to the white hybrid. To finish this skull, I need to blacken up my eyes. I do need some shadows, so that is where I have the Cool Glam palette. I'm gonna start out with this brown color. So if you are going to use powders over the Pro Air Hybrid products, you should be aware that the powders behave differently over the airbrush makeup so it's less easy to blend them but if you give them a bit more love you definitely can get the effect you want so I'm trying to put it on my skin very gently not using too much of the powder because if you mess up then that is it just thinking that I didn't really finish off on the nose didn't really make it black even so that is something I still need to do but I also need to make those eyes black I'm still working with the cool glam palette A bit of the black pencil liner to color my waterline black. As I have hay fever, I decided not to wear any contact lenses today. Uh, but if you would want to, you could definitely wear white ones, black ones, or red ones. Yellow could be cool as well. So there is loads of choice. But I do want to give my eyes a bit of rest as they burn kind of all day from hay fever so for the final step I'm just painting my neck black I'm doing this with the essential black by diamond effects you could definitely also use the hybrid for this but as I need to remove this again in a little while I think it's easier for me to just go with the paint by diamond effects so for the costume I have this lovely hood which I used for a different makeup a while ago and as it is black and it is hooded and it is well actually very nice I decided on wearing it for this makeup today so it covers my hair it covers my oop, ears and that is exactly what we want and that completes my skull makeup tutorial for today my airbrush skull makeup that is so if you like the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you want to stay tuned on all our videos we have loads of videos on this channel already and we have three new videos every week don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well for now i wish you a wonderful day and i hope to see you back next time